would a challenge be to our more recent alumni? Uh, what is what? What can you say to them on uh, inciting their desire to continue on to to do what Andy's saying and give the kids the same experience well, you got? That is what I was going to say exactly. Is that my goal and my the reason I I have I have stayed through these tough times of of restructuring and the shutdown and what is live performance anymore is because I wanted to give these kids that transformative experience that I got when I was 15. I was too shy to speak in front of people. I could not step touch. I gave myself tension headaches holding my shoulders all the time because I was such a nervous person and I got the gift of relief and I got the gift of of being being fully and authentically myself. I got the gift of people in leadership here in this organization telling me that they have the confidence in me to stand in front of 30 workshop kids and teach them a number. And that's, oh God. <laughs> that's not something that we as alumni can ever take for granted. And it's not something that we should ever stop wanting to give our current and future young Americans. And so I, I, I hate to ask anything of my family, but um, I guess what I want to ask of my family is to just ride with us. Ride with us, please. You know, so many of the people at this <laughs> So many of the people who have um, decided to move on in the last few months, a lot of them have continued to offer their services to us because they know that if we can get through this time, then we can continue another almost 60 years. We, we want to continue to offer these opportunities and the confidence and the hard skills and the soft skills to people the way that, that Andy and I got to experience. So. It's about the kids. Let's focus on these kids, on these young adults who we know will be better for having been young American. Mm -hmm. Sometimes stuff just can't move at the speed of social media. Right, mm -hmm. right. That's very and important. the questions that we answer might not be the way they want them answered. It's true. But we're doing what we think is, is, is the best and what we have. But if we had them, we'd have so much more. Oh man! If we yeah. had them, if we had, them, <laughs> you know, we'd have so much more. And you know, I, I left this out, but the board is that I have instilled in the board that we're bringing on three new board members. Please don't leave that out. We're bringing on three. We're, we're bringing, bringing on. on three. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we're, we're also bringing on. Three new board members that are from the younger generation. And right now, I am going to begin to design the vetting process for, um, for these three new board members. Um, this is something that we probably are going to do uh, before January would be my goal Amazing. to do it. But it needs to be done. And this is what... Um, what I, I speak to what you're saying, Brooke, when, when they say, you know, a Andy was in the 70s. Does that change my love for the group? Does that change what the group did for me in the 70s, it did for you in the 90s and the 2010s? It doesn't change a thing. The only thing that it does is that we have to be called up to do that. So that, that's real important for them to know if that's what you say, they just need to hear us because I do hear them. I do hear them. Um, my ears aren't gone, just my legs. <laughs> <laughs> just my legs are gone.